Town at night? Do you have your stuff? Or your cassettes and paperwork? And, okay. Well, how many people, first of all, were here last year? You're already clued in on what's about to happen. Okay. If you're not, uh, let me just say we're going to go out there and we're going to create beauty. Okay? We're going to create beauty with sound. Let's kind of think of it tonight is that you're all artists. The streets out here are our canvas. We're going to paint it with sound tonight. And if you've not experienced this, I'll guarantee you, you're not going to forget it. Both walks we have are very different. No matter where you are in line, what you hear is not going to be the same as what someone else hear because the, uh, the tracks that are played are so different, the position of the boomboxes are different, the sonic capability of the buildings that you're next to is different. This is going to change everywhere you, you go as, as it go, uh, goes through the night. Both walks are completely different. Uh, we're going to take the first walk. It's a little bit slower, methodical, contemplative, th through our, the downtown business district, through all tall buildings where the echoing goes on. We have a couple of places where we're going to slow down and regroup as people catch up from the intersections and the stoplights and things and get back here. And then we're going to take off for a little for one that's a little bit more quicker pace, but not very much, through the newly lit Arts District. Uh, and both are completely, completely different. Uh, explain a few things. One is uh, we may be out here for a while, so just let some of y'all know if you need to get something warm to drink, buy to eat, a restroom or whatever, about 100 feet around that corner, or about 50 feet around that corner, is the uh, Taco Barracho. Excellent taco grill. You can go in there and, and camp out for a little bit if you need to. I believe the other end around the corner is a subway over there, but that kind of gives you the best I can offer you of logistics for your creature comforts. Uh, next thing I'll let you know is that the uh, logistics of, of what we're, what's going on. The little handout we gave you was really important uh, because of those are the kinds of things we've, we've learned that we have to do to stay safe and to make this the best event possible. The number one rule on there is that we're here to look out after each other. So as we go tonight, remember, this is what, you know, what's really interesting here is we have people here that are always from every possible walk of life, all right? And tonight, together, we're going to create this wonderful sonic roving sculpture down here that, that's, that's really going to be memorable, but it's only happening because you're creating it. As we walk, the line is going to get a little bit strung out, and that's okay. We don't want to get so far we can't see each other. <laughs> but inevitably, as we cross the intersections, this is how, how it works. We have agreed to do two things. Stay on the sidewalk and make sure we don't block the sidewalk because there's other people down here living their lives and they, <laughs> they want to get by. Uh, the other is that uh, we are going to observe all the street traffic laws that are out there. Help yourself. All the laws. That means, you know, when we walk, we walk. When we don't, we don't. As you're going across an intersection and, and you can't cross and you notice the people behind you got caught up on the light, you can slow down a little bit. When it changes, they'll speed up some. Uh, but we just don't want to get so far apart that we can't we can't find each other. Um, I don't think it'll be much of a problem since I said there's a couple of places along the way. We'll pause and make sure everybody gets caught up and we'll move on. <laughs>